Okay, I am going to show you how to do the um, fox stole for stole kind of thing with the 18 peg 3 fourths inch loom, Cindy Wood loom. And I'm using a Caron yarn doubled up with the strands and a gold fur yarn. And so it's a worsted double up with the fur yarn. And the idea is to get a red base that comes up with a lighter color when you go and actually look at foxes. And we're going to start with the tail and move forward. And I'm going to be doing it all in one piece. And so what I've done already is I've done a drawstring cast on circular, as you can see. And then I did three rows, and then I've done some peg doubling. I'm doing peg doubling on every other peg, and I'm going to show you how to do that since we're not doing the cast on. And so how we're going to do that is you're going to e-wrap one, then you're going to e-wrap the next one, bring it over to the previous peg, then you're going to increase by pulling up the connector here and it'll be harder to see but you'll know the connector you're going to bring that up and you're going to e-wrap and then you're going to put the loop you moved right back where it goes and you've just done a peg doubling and you're going to e-wrap then e wrap the next one, move over to the previous peg, bring up the previous row's connector yarn, which is right there. As again, it's hard to see, but it's the connector yarn that you'll see. And e wrap, toss the loop over, and bring that back. And now you're going to do an e-wrap with it doing the peg doubling on these for 10 rows. And then what you'll do is you'll e-wrap, which basically just straight out e-wrap without the peg doubling after your 10 rows and you decrease back down to 18. So right now we're at 27 stitches and after 10 rows you'll decrease which is basically e-wrap everything and then toss both loops over on those double up, doubled up pegs and get back down to 18 and then you're going to do another 10 rows and this is your tail after that then we'll get to doing the legs and then the body's pretty self-explanatory and then um, we'll do the legs again. So um, get to that point and then we'll go, I'll show you how to do the legs. Okay, I finished doing the tail section and you can see that it's wider here and then has narrowed down. Now I'm fixing to start on my legs and I'm going to divide the loom in half. And it should be nine pegs on one side and nine pegs on the other. And I'm fixing to do the legs. And so I'm going to be working in increments of three. And I'm going to be doing a series of short rows for using these three pegs and these three pegs over here. And then this three is going to be the um, separation. Later on we're still going to keep our loom divided in half but we're going to switch up and be doing one half is white and then one half is the burnt orange with the gold fur mix. So for now for the legs because usually the body is what's furry we're going to separate our fur into just the burnt orange. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit
And I realize we've been doing E wraps, but because this is the tail, you want the tail to be a lot bigger because on a fox the tail is a lot bigger. And I looked at um, authentic fur stoles for this, and so the legs are very small, and so that's the reason why we're knitting and we're not E wrapping. So you're going to knit three, four, seven rows. And keep in mind this is the outside of the legs. So there's two, three, four, Six, and seven. At this point we're going to want to change to a black and we're going to go back and loosen these up. Okay, at this point we've changed to black and we're going to knit three pegs for 14 rows now. So here's row one, two, three, and so on. Okay. Now we're going to change to the white. And you'll notice I'm not going to be using the Caron yarn. I'm going to be using the Bernat um kind of like a blanket yarn. What is this stuff? Uh, it's one of the burnout blanket yarns. It's particularly fluffy and it's furry looking and because uh, we're doing a stomach area, the stomach area doesn't have as much furriness as the backside and the tail. So now we're going to go in and we're going to We're going to knit for seven rows. So here's row one. And I'm going to fold that back. We're going to find our original loops. This is a little easier. There's your next peg. There's your connector, and there's your original loop right there. I'm going to pull that back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to knit those loops together. And there's your leg. And you'll sew those together later. So you'll sew those sides together. Now what you're going to do is you're going to e wrap three and then you're going to change color again. Okay, then you're going to take the next three and you're going to knit 
you're going to take the next three and you're going to knit for seven. So here's one, two, Okay, I'm going to change to the black. Now we're going to do 14 rows. Just like we did previously. That's our last row. Now we're going to change color again. So let's pick up our white. Then you're going to knit for seven rows. Okay, bring your original loops back. There's your next unworked peg. There's your connector. And here's your original loop. Okay, then knit both loops over. Okay, two legs done. Now what we're going to do is tie, we're done with the black for now, so we'll go ahead and wrap it and put it aside. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie our orange on. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to have to cut our gold because it's already attached. Because we'll just reattach it because you're not going to notice a single row without it. So what you want to do is go in and attach the color and you're not going to cut the white because you're going to need the white now. Okay. Now, we're back to e-wrapping. So what I'm going to do is e-wrap all the way over to the other side. and stop there. Now I'm going to show you a couple of rows of how to do color changing without actually having to cut and add, cut and add. What you're going to do now that you've got this back over here, what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to wrap back. We're going to get prepped first. So we're going to wrap back. Okay. Now you're going to need to keep up with what row you're on. So I have my two colors and I'm working with my white and my orange. And what you want to do is to change color 
is you pull up under, you pull the white up under the orange, and then you wrap over. And toss all those loops over. Okay, then you're going to pick up your orange and you're just going to e-wrap over to the other side. Toss all those loops over. And we just completed one row. And you know when you've completed a row when your colors join back up. So when your tail color, when your working tail colors show back up together, you've completed a row. So here we go. We're going to take, and we're going to do this again. We're going to take the white, pull it up under the orange, and you want to continue this. And this keeps it from getting tangled and spiraling up. So pull the white up under the orange and then e-wrap. And I always like to work one color first and then the other. And this also keeps it organized. Then you're going to pick up your orange, you wrap it over, which is your opposite color. turn it around and so you'll want to continue that so the underbelly and here's your tail and so the underbelly is going to be white and the outer side's going to be the fuzzies so go ahead and pause the video and complete six feet of the half and half and then you'll repeat the legs just like we did orange first black and then white and then you'll do another five rows with the half and half and then we'll get started on the head so go ahead and pause the video and complete that much and then I'll show you how to do the head okay we've completed the body with the legs on each end and the five rows afterwards after doing the legs here and now we're ready to get started on our head and so what we want to do is we want to actually get to a point where we're starting to work flat so what we want to do is we want to e-wrap over four toss the loops over And you're going to ear up, pick that up, put it on the next peg as a decrease, and ear wrap. Toss both loops over. And then you'll want to ear the wrap all the way around. And this is your new starting point right here. So, at this point, we are ready to start working our head.
Okay, so we're at our new starting point. What we want to do now is we're going to do our ear row. So what we're going to do is we're going to ear wrap four. One, two, three. Okay, and we're going to start our first ear. And we're going to be using these next four pegs in short rows to complete our ear, and we will be doing some changing of color. So, what we're going to do is we're going to e wrap four pegs for four rows. So, here's going to be row one. and four. Now we're going to change our color to black. So we're going to change over to black. And at this point you're going to e-wrap th three. Then you're going to e wrap two. Then you're going to e wrap three. And then you're going to want to change color again. Because the tip of your ear should be black. Okay, now we're going to change color again back to our original. You're going to e-wrap one. Then you're going to take the next four pegs and you're going to e-wrap to create your other ear. You're just going to repeat the ear that you did over here, just like over here. So you're going to repeat the ear process and then you're going to knit your way back to the end. Then what you'll want to do is you'll want to remove the gold and be working with just the orange. And you're going to do a total of five rows of e-wrap. So go ahead and finish the ear over here in the next four pegs just like you did here. E-wrap the rest of the way over and then take out the gold and then do the orange for five rows back and forth and then we'll go from there. Okay we've done our five rows and now we're going to do a technique I do for my stuffed animals to create the snout area. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an internal decrease and that means you go in and you decrease by every other peg. So move every other stitch over one. So every other stitch over one.
and then after you do that you're going to e-wrap every peg with stitches on them and then toss both loops over and at this point we're going to bring all our stitches tacked together side by side and how I do that is I pick up with my hook and because the stitches are fairly loose it's going to be easy to put them back on the pegs and it's not too bad to only have to do this once so put that one there And then after we do this, we'll need to tighten our stitches up, which is easy enough. Okay, and how to go about tightening your stitches up is you find your working yarn, go to the opposite side, and start from here, and work your way back to the working yarn. And you just go in and tighten every stitch up so that it puts a nice indention for the snout area. So we've just done an internal decrease. And now what we're going to do is we're going to e-wrap for three rows, change to um, a smooth white like this, the Caron's white. If you've got some scrap yarn, that'll work. You change to the white, and then you e-wrap for three more rows. And then for your last row, you change to your black you wrap one row and then draw string cast off and then we'll go from there. Just go ahead and complete the snout area with three rows of orange, three rows of white, one row of black, and draw string cast off. Okay, I've draw strung my nose together and I've tied it off. And at this point I'm going to leave the bottom half open and um, you can stuff the head, you can sew it up and stuff it if you like, but because when you look at an actual stole, a lot of times the head area is flat. So the only thing I'd suggest is go ahead and sew up your legs and then you'll want to add a set of eyes and I am planning on just using some half pearled rhinestones and you're going to find out where that decrease is and you're going to add those in like that and I'm going to be gluing mine in so you'll want to sew up your legs and glue your eyes on and um, if you want you can sew up your ears but the reason for the bringing the original loops back on is so that you didn't technically have to but if you want to sew up the ears you can I'm not planning on it and I'm going to glue those eyes in and that's done. It, that's how you make the fox stole on your loom.